some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Padawani County, Oklahoma, with Sean Paul Reyes from Long Island Audit acting like a dumbass as usual. You know, the usual kind of thing, being a no good, dirty loser and all that other wonderful stuff that he does. So anyway, he's auditing a courthouse as usual, and he gets educated and removed from the courthouse. And he throws a temper tantrum afterward. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Patawami County Courthouse here in the great state of Oklahoma. We're here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right guys, so we're just getting inside the courthouse here. We have to pass through the metal detector. Let's take a look around. Our friendly reminder that they're always recording us. Even though it always seems to be an issue and a problem when we record them, let's hope that's not the case here today. Later on, Sean is going to be shown this very order that disallows his activity to take place inside of the courthouse. But of course, the guy's got a massive persecution complex. He's going to whine and cry about it. But what else is new? I mean, there's nothing more you could say about this moron. At least he's consistent with his arguments. He never changes them, no matter how many times they're debunked. Court clerk's office. Can we help you? Um, I'm okay, thank you. Um, sure, ma'am. Who are you? We're the court clerk, deputy court clerks in this office. Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video. You have to talk to the, the yeah, you need to talk, talk to the court clerk before you start doing that. No, I don't need to speak with anybody, ma'am. I'm okay. Yeah, but we need to be on tape. Yeah, there's documents and stuff like that. Here. Oh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to get any documents. I'm just... Um, no, ma'am. Um, who are you? I'm the court clerk. Hi, nice to meet you. And your name? Valerie. My name's Sean. Um, an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the building. That's all. No, you're not an activist, nor are you a journalist. You are just some low-life asshat who wants to come into uh, places like this and cause trouble for everybody. Oh, yeah, and those cameras are up there for the security of the building not for clicks and views on YouTube, unlike your videoing, which is a security risk considering that there's sensitive information in the area and they will explain that to you, especially when there's the possibility of jurors that they explain to you later on that are wandering around the building. So, my little moronic friend, you are a huge security risk at the moment. I couldn't tell you if they knew or not. Because there's an administrative order in place that states that there's no video or photography unless it's for ceremonial purposes. That I, includes the entire building. That administrative order was put in place years ago. So the only administrative order, I've, I've never seen an administrative order that that states that you can't record in the publicly accessible areas of the building here. Maybe in courtroom. It says, I'm, it says in the I've never seen it. Yeah. I've never seen it. Well, Sean, your ignorance is no excuse for anything. It took me less than five minutes of searching on the internet to find the uh, document. But you have no interest in finding the document anyway, considering it does not fit your narrative. And your narrative is, is that you are a whiny, butthurt little turd. And that is a statement of pure fact from what I've seen of your videos. I can, I can pull it for you if you want a copy of it. Yeah. I don't think I really need it. It sounds like an un if it's if it's stated how you uh, how you just said it, it sounds like an unconstitutional order. I'm just exercising my first amendment right of freedom of press here. Right. Okay. Just gathering content. Mm -hmm. 
I was just going to get the rest of these, these signs that you have here posted, and then I'll be done in here, correct? Intentionally and only file an attempt to file a sham legal process with the county clerk. Excuse me. Are you videoing? Yeah, I'm taking some pictures and video, ma'am. Who are you? I am Candy Griffin. Candy Griffin? Yeah, and you're a deputy? Protected if you, yes, if you'll read the sign down there, it's protected. You can't audio and video. What's protected? It says it downstairs. The building is. Protected against what? Audio and videoing. Why would that be? Is that a law? Because you have people's, you're invading people's privacy. Oh, no, this is a public building. They don't have no expectation of privacy in public. Okay, what are you videoing for? Oh, I'm just taking some pictures and video for um, myself. For yourself? Correct, yeah. No, sir, who are you? I'm Deputy Noel's part of the County Sheriff's Office. Deputy, excuse me? Noel's. Noel's. My name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I don't need any assistance at the moment, no. Um, actually, you're in violation of a courthouse order. So what, what, what courthouse order is that? If you will go downstairs, I will show you where it's posted. It's posted. So yeah, and in. it's a courthouse order for yeah. yes, against for exercising a constitutionally protected activity? <laughs> uh, in a secured area, yes. We this is not jurors. a secured area. You came through a checkpoint to get in, right? Yeah, that doesn't mean it's a secured area. There's some city halls and things that have... But it's posted right on the front of that x-ray machine. Yeah, if you could provide me with the order... Yeah, that's just, anyone can have that sign, uh... Not this one. Anybody can have that sign this made. This file on the district court. Yep. Right here. There shall be no cameras, video, digital, or still allowed in the courthouse. Except for ceremonial purposes, cell phones with camera functions may not be used in the courthouse. It says... A meeting will take place in the city of a courtroom. Yeah, it says so I can't, media cannot, media personnel have the same obligation. That's item B, so you're in violation of item A. So we're going to ask you if you'll please stop recording. Because sir. we do have people on jury duty that are in this building currently, and they don't need to be identified. Given well, I have no idea reasons. who would be on That's jury right. duty. That's right. But you're standing you outside of the courtrooms. Yeah. No, no, no I'm, I'm walking around. Pictures of people okay. coming in and out yes. of offices. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to quit recording. But that, yeah, that 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 sign is unconstitutional. So I have a First Amendment. Yeah, I have a First Amendment right. Jury duty. Anyone ordered to jury duty has the right to. That not sign is not a law, law, sir. You're, you're respectfully, you're, that sign isn't a law. You you are a law enforcement officer, correct? I am a law enforcement officer. And that that is not a law that you would enforce. That this that is. that is a policy. We are enforcing. This that's is, what we're doing this now. This is a no, but that's a not a lawful, law. This is a lawful order through a district court that says they do not wish to have cameras here. So this I've been all court. over. I've been all over Oklahoma, and I've recorded in many courtrooms and court facilities, not the courtrooms. Right. And are, are you here for a ceremonial purpose? Well, yeah. I, I don't have to explain to you my purpose. I can, you know, it could be multi multi purposes. Okay. It could be for I'm a journalist exercising my constitutional rights. Uh -huh. You know, could be a ceremonial purpose. If it's for a ceremonial purpose, then where the hell are the ceremonies at? I mean, you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? But what the hell do you expect from a criminal scumbag like yourself? I just don't want to have to, I have, I don't, I, as, a, as a journalist and as a citizen, just as a citizen, excuse me, I don't have to divulge, I don't have to talk to you, I have a Fifth Amendment right not to incriminate well, myself. <laughs> For somebody who claims they know the law and the Constitution, you are a real moron. The Fifth Amendment only takes effect when you are under arrest or even doing court proceedings. You do have the right for you not to video this. Well, I'm not recording anybody in particular, you, man. It doesn't matter. It's their civil rights no, it's not, not to be That's videos. wrong. Okay, well, you're saying the same thing. You have civil rights. They have civil rights. No, 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 no. They do not. They don't have a right to court. privacy, ma'am. They do Respectfully, not. I'm not trying yes, to escalate do. the situation. Yes, they do. They do not have if a right I to privacy. <laughs> this is a public building. It is a public building. Anybody has access. I am obviously not a threat to anything. I went through the metal detector. and While it is accessible to the public, it is a non 
public forum. The public has limitations in that building, and the judge has control over it. But Nervous. you're in Nervous. violation of a direct court order. That would be a and judge. I'll show you the proof, yes. A judge, a judge only has purview over, judges can have purview in the- working that is owned by the county so, that they are appointed to help protect. So you are in violation of a direct court order. So I suggest- a, An unconstitutional order. It is not. So I just need one, it's an unconstitutional order, sir. Can I get a supervisor here, please? I want to speak to your- Go get at least one. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, sir. I don't see what they have to hide. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hi, sir. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. Um, are you supervisor with the sheriff's department, yes, sir? Yes, sir. I'm Captain Marcus May. Captain? Marcus May. Hi, my name is Sean. I'm an independent journalist. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the publicly accessible areas, not in any courtrooms or jury rooms or anything of that nature. Um, your deputy over here came up to me and said that everybody has a right to privacy in public and that um, they showed me the order mm -hmm. and I told them I believe that order to be unconstitutional. Okay. Um, and I was just waiting to hear from a supervisor to see if you were going to enforce that order or, or not because I have a First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and just gather content. I'm not trying to escalate the situation. Uh, in any way, I'm actually de-escalating. That's why I waited here for you. For you know, I wanted to give you the respect and say, hey, let, let's let's de-escalate it. It doesn't need to be escalated any more than it already was. You know, I just I wanted to get the clear picture on what was allowed in the courtroom because I know my rights. Um, this is what I the same way you took an oath to uphold the Constitution. I didn't take an oath, but my job is to exercise my rights and flex those rights so that way people around the country can see. Okay, this is what we can and cannot do. This is our rights. You know, we have to stand up for our rights. And then as law enforcement officers, you know, it's your job to uphold the Constitution and defend our rights. And that's my only purpose here. Okay, now that Reyes has had his mind-numbingly stupid little speech that he's rehearsed over and over again, it's time for the uh, officer to educate him on this subject. So, let's enjoy that little education that this brain-dead moron is about to get. Okay, so here, here's, and I appreciate you speaking to me in the manner you're speaking, and it, it doesn't always happen. Sure, I understand. So, again, my name is Marcus May. I'm a captain here at the Sheriff's Office, okay? Uh, I've consulted uh, the District Attorney's Office, and I'm, uh, I'm all for you know, protecting you know, your constitutional rights. I appreciate that. There is a court order uh, that forbids the, uh, the use of videos, uh, video equipment, taking any videos inside the courtroom. Correct. Um, and there is also a, a state statute uh, that forbids entering a public building uh, with the intent to disrupt uh, a government business. And I say that uh, we have a judge that's already spoken with us. Uh, she he, he disrupted part of her proceedings when he was upstairs uh, filming some juveniles that were waiting to be seen in court. And, uh, oh no, somebody actually came up to me. And, and yeah, Matthew. yeah, sure. I spoke to the clerk's office. They were in there trying to conduct business. You were in there filming, which disrupted their business. And that's just that's in violation of uh, state statute, not giving that statute any money. Yeah. Now, do would you like the statute? I, I mean, what the statute is. So yeah, you just. Open it up? I mean, I would, I would like to see the statute on disturbing the, the process because that's not, you know, just like you said, it's, you have to intend to do that. That's not my intent at all. And I think that's made clear by the way I'm acting here today and the way I'm talking to everyone that I'm coming in contact with. Come on, dude. You've got hundreds of videos by now of doing the same exact thing. I would think that shows intent by now. Your intent is to go into places like this and disrupt the place for clicks and views. I mean, you've done it hundreds of times. The fact that we, uh, we, do you have a copy of that one? Oh, this one? Yeah, sure. Is it? What? That's the name of the one. Would you like a copy of the one? Sure. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. So, now that you've been educated on court order forbidding the videoing inside a courtroom, and you're at this point refusing to comply with the order, that would show intent that you are disrupting services. Well, no, I'm, in, I'm not in a courtroom, sir. It's in the courthouse. Okay. The order specific. And you can read it. I'll wait for you to read it. No, no, no. I, I've read it. I've read that one. So, uh, 
West now that you've been educated that the order has been issued by the district judge, that videoing is forbidden inside a courthouse, and now that you've been educated in refusing to comply with the order, that would have so intent that you're meaning to disrupt services, just as you are now. So, I'm disrupting would, services right now, currently? Absolutely. How would? We, I mean, we, you've already disrupted the courtroom, uh, per the judge. You've already per the judge, I've disrupted the courtroom? The, her proceedings, yes. There was juveniles waiting to be seen in her court, and uh, you were up there video with juveniles, according to Judge Mueller. According I, to I, what, what was the judge's judge name? Judge Mueller. Mueller. Yes, sir. I, I spoke with the court clerk's office. They said you disrupted uh, their business by filming their, uh, their uh, customers inside there. You've been educated on the order. If you refuse to file the order, that's by showing intent and violation of the statute. So I would like to ask you to, to please, you, you can stay in the courthouse if you'd like. You just can't video me, okay? It's a public building. You're, you have just as much uh, right to be here as anybody else. But if you continue to video, it's going to show intent to uh, not comply with the order. And we're going to have to, if, if you don't leave, you'll probably be placed under arrest for violation of the order. Violation of the court order? And the state statute. Uh, of that, that is, it forbids you to enter a building with the intent to disrupt. Which now that you're educated and you're choosing not to comply, that's going to show intent. Yeah. Because you're, you're 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 making intent to disrupt the business. Okay. So. So I would like for you to leave. Right? Yeah. And you don't have to identify with me if you don't want to. Your name is Sean. Yeah, I just told you my name's Sean. Sean. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you don't, and, and if you if you'd like to leave. And then, like I said, I don't. I might not. I appreciate you handling in the way you're handling it. Um, I will just say that I do have a constitutional right to record in public. Mm -hmm. I am not disturbing anything whatsoever. Again, there has to be intent, and my actions are not disturbing anything. I've been more, I'm not raising my voice. I'm not using vulgar language. I'm not getting in the way of people getting services here. So I strongly disagree with that. So at this point, though, all I need for you, if, if all I need from you at this point is to, as a captain and supervisor of the sheriff's department here, are you going to arrest me if I continue to record and exercise my constitutional rights? If you continue to record inside the courthouse and exercise my rights, exercise your, yep. the way you have, your rights to do so, which are a violation of the order, you will be placed under arrest. I'm sorry, can you say that again? You will be placed under arrest. Okay, that's all I needed. I just needed standing. Now I can take it to the proper channels and um, hold everyone involved accountable. Would you like to know the statute in which you would be arrested for? I can, I can oh, it, it's not really necessary because I'm not in violation of that statute whatsoever. How do you know if you haven't read the statute? Because it, it, it would require intent, and I know only only I know my intent, correct? The intent is shown once you've been educated. We're giving you an opportunity to, to leave and comply with the order. Choosing not to do so, you're just no. Well, I'm going to leave, so there's no okay. need for there's. I'm, I'm going to leave, but I just needed to have that in court. You need what's called standing in court to, to file a civil rights lawsuit and to hold people accountable and maybe get an order changed. This nothing to do with civil rights. This yes, this has 100 cents to do with. Once again, Sean, you prove how little you know about anything. It is not a violation of your civil rights, you gibbering idiot. So stop with your annoying little persecution complex. No, 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 this will, this is going to, no, no, and that's why I, under threat of arrest, I'm going to leave the building. But what I'm saying is it is going to, I promise you, it will turn into a civil rights problem for your department. The courthouse, the district attorney, whoever it is, because I will hold everybody involved accountable. Who's it? What's the name of the district attorney? Adam Panter. Adam Panter. And can I get your name and badge number, sir? Okay. Fine. Yes, please. Deputy Glass, badge number 15. And, and your name and badge number, sir? Scott Hawkins, badge number 9. Scott Hawkins. Your name and badge number? Stuart Haight. Stuart Haight? Yeah, badge number 8. Oh, badge number 8. Yeah. Okay. And you have my name, Marcus. I read, yep. My badge number Okay, great. Thank you. Um, you guys... You know, politely or not, you violated my rights here today. So, I mean, we'll just out let a court decide and not this court, which is obviously biased. Okay? okay. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. All right, time to cue the music for his butt hurt little rant. All right, we're going to get out of here because no one wants to be arrested by these tyrants here. Polite and well spoken tyrants, but tyrants nonetheless. All right, guys, so you heard it. Under threat of arrest, we were removed from the building and our constitutional rights violated. Look at that. Completely insane. You know why we leave under threat of arrest? Because do you think I want some county judge that obviously is a tyrant and some district attorney tyrant who's saying I'm disturbing 
causing a disturbance entering a public building. Do you really think that I want that tyrant district attorney and that judge deciding my fate and my freedom and my liberty? No. We can have a federal judge who has no connections with the Patsawami County Courthouse and their judge and their law enforcement and their district attorney, an unbiased judge. It's my best it's my best shot, guys. It's the best shot at affecting real change here. This was ridiculous. Law enforcement officers do not have a right to privacy in public, as that one deputy said. We have every right to f film government officials in the course of the duty. That is case law. This is ridiculous. And like I said, just because the captain was well spoken and he and he and he talked to me nicely, the threat of arrest is all I need to have standing to file a uh, civil rights lawsuit, 1983 lawsuit against the, the the sheriff's department as well as the district attorney for violating my constitutional rights. It's completely insane. Do you see how they bully you? They bully you and threat, threaten to take your liberty in order to remove you and violate your rights. Completely insane and uncalled for. We're, we, the people, are going to hold them accountable. I, I know we will band together and hold them accountable, not only in the court of public opinion, but in a federal district court as well. Yeah, good luck with that, Sean. Considering none of your civil rights were violated... I mean, that's for equal treatment under the law. And you were pretty much treated as equally as anybody else would have if they had done the same thing. So get over yourself, you butthurt little moron.